There are alarming concerns about the alarm system at a South Florida fire rescue station after a delayed response to a medical emergency. The night team's Nicole Insalata is at the Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue Cooper City Station with more now, Nicole. Well, Craig, this alert happened late at night here at the station when some of the firefighters cl clearly would have been sleeping and some of them heard it, but others did not. It's a call for help with someone having trouble breathing. 1134 p.m. August 17th, coming into the BSO fire station in Cooper City. Listen again. trouble breathing. And a little under 20 seconds later. 28 Echo Rescue 28 response to trouble breathing 11721 Southwest 573. No response. The alert received in the firehouse would sound something like this. Zone 47 Alpha. And they would hear it twice, but no response from Rescue 28. And nearly two minutes after the first call. Rescue 28 confirming our route. And 16 seconds later. Fire comes to Rescue 28 confirming our route. But they were not. An officer sleeping in a separate location apparently never heard the call. When that call came in, it would dispatch a rescue truck of three people. Um, they sleep in different locations with inside of the station, so there's different alerting tones or systems that are throughout. Two of the firefighters went to the truck, but realized the third, the officer, had not responded. They went out, they went to the truck. Uh, as they were preparing themselves to respond to the 911 call, this is when now they recognize, hey, the individual in charge of this truck is not here. The dispatcher sent another crew from the same station. By this time, the breathing trouble had turned into cardiac arrest. At this time, uh, this is when everyone starts realizing that an initial call had came in and they missed it. The question now is, how did the officer, as well as another one sleeping in the same room, not hear that first call? This individual asked questions to their you know, group. Hey, did you hear a call? And then that's when, yeah, we got a call. Well, it didn't go off in our room. Broward Sheriff Fire Rescue conducted an investigation and found that all the overhead alert tones appeared to be working, that they were unable to replicate the problem. But they did find anomalies and failures with pagers the firefighters wear. Why the officers didn't hear those alerts is simply unknown. The delay in this case, two minutes and 40 seconds. The man sent to the hospital died hours later. What do you say to folks who hear this story and think, well, this might have contributed to that man not making it? And what happens when I call? I would say that that is a, a fair position to initially feel, um, but the responders of the Broward Sheriff's Office are dedicated to getting it right. We don't delay any form of care, whether it's from the minor or to the most urgent. So for us to um, have any delay is, is a problem for us. So what was the solution here? Well, we understand that some of the pagers have been re uh, replaced. Some of the alerts, the volume has now been increased to make it easier to hear. And uh, there's also now a checklist to make sure everyone is accounted for and they know where everyone is. As for the family involved, the family of that man, and they called 911 about his condition, they did not want to comment about this story. Reporting live in Cooper City, Nicole Insalata, 7 News 19. Okay, Nicole, thanks.